Wow, that was epic. Ever wondered how to create a out of space scene like this? So I want to show you. Little disclosure though, this won't be a step-by-step -step tutorial, but instead a, you know, a walkthrough that shows you the steps that I took in creating this scene right over here. So without wasting any of your time, let's get started. To kick it off, I had this circle parented to these two sun lamps. That way if you rotate the circle, it'll also rotate the lamps and it'll make it easier for you to find that ideal lighting situation. One thing to note about the sphere is if you have two of these um, on top of each other, even if you scaled it just a little bit, it'll sort of have this weird intersection between each other. So to sort this one out, I tabbed into edit mode, shift alt s, and then just drag it all the way up. And don't forget the other one as well. So just repeat that. And that sort short out that intersection situation so now if you rotate that you can see that you know it doesn't have that intersection problem that we had earlier all right now let's talk about texturing like most of my textures i use a pbr workflow which is just a basic color bump and roughness as well as the specularity for this one i also added in some atmosphere to give it some glow around the edges for the textures i had to get creative in making my own textures I just used some, you know, images from the internet, stamped them together, um, trying to make it look seamless. And this is what I had up in the end. It looked well for my planets, so I decided to go on with it. To make it a bit more advanced, I duplicated these few nodes and added in an extra texture of the planet Mars. The plan was to blend these two textures to get something that kind of resembles the look of a planet. To my surprise, this worked pretty well. That makes it it for the base color. So now just plug it into the principal shader and I think we're done over here. Having a look at our planet shader, this is what we should have now. Just a basic flat um, planet, really. So yeah, let's get on to the next step. For the surface of the planet, I used a PBR workflow. If you don't know what PBR is, I have a tutorial on that, so I will leave a link probably somewhere in the video right now. The first color ramp I'm going to use is a specular map. And the second one is going to be a um, roughness map, followed by a bump map. With those plugged into their respectable channels, you should have something that looks like this. I kind of cheated the volumetrics of the Rayleigh scattering by duplicating the circle and for the shader I used an animation texture but instead of plugging into the shader slots I plugged it into the volume slots. This is a trick that I got from Gleb Alexandrov and I found that it works quite well. Do note that it's not really a PBR workflow so if you do move around the lights a lot you might also need to change this location of the normal you can also change the color of the emission to get a specific color that you might be looking for and this is what i was able to achieve with the shading pretty much done now it's all up to you this is the part of the workflow where you just let your creativity just flow i added in some stars to the background using some planes added in some more planes with nebulas and volumetrics using this bit of a hack you don't have to simulate complex um, simulations particle systems you can just drag and drop and yeah it just makes it easier experiment with some different colors positions and scales um, you know just move around these nebulas and I think from here on it will be time to play with the camera movements just adding a little bit of camera movements I feel like just gives it some life to the scene and this is what we have overall this was a fun scene to make I feel like I had a lot of fun and I learned a bunch of new things I actually even made a second scene of this planet right here as you can see I had a lot of fun if you're interested in seeing some more space creations, leave me a comment down below. 
otherwise this is the end of the video don't forget to subscribe because i'm always constantly 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 did i mention constantly making new videos this is me signing out and i'll see you in the future